Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to take a look at creating an online calculator with Spreadsheet Web. Here we have a workbook with multiple sheets that can calculate the return on investment for installing LED light fixtures. We also have an analysis of the results displayed on charts as well as a more detailed report that we would like to send to our users. To build this application on Spreadsheet Web's designer, we begin by creating our pages. We have the home page, costs, results, get report, and finally a thank you page for after the users enter their email and request a report. Note that these pages are not the same as sheets in Excel because we could actually use any name range from the workbook with a controller placed in any of these pages. Next, we go into the user interface designer and start building the controls and layout of each page. All we need to do here is drag and drop the controls into the page and map them to their corresponding name ranges. The Active User Interface Designer page can be switched between different pages using the quick navigation menu on the right. We can print the results of output cells inside content controls using double curly braces. Number formatting can be applied to those fields by entering a colon after the name range and selecting from those options. The formatting properties can be set by adding a semicolon after the formatting option. Then we can add a chart that will display the annual operating cost comparison and an action button to allow our users to save their data and navigate to the thank you page. On the Get Report page, we will be allowing our users to enter their email address and receive a more detailed report to that email. For this, we would also need to create a print process. The report will be based on a template created in Microsoft Word. The name ranges in double curly braces here are the areas where we want the system to print the outcome data. Just like in the UI controls, these labels must also be mapped to name ranges from the underlying workbook. Once everything is set, we can activate all fields to be used in the export. Finally, we need to generate an email process to send the user an automated message. The email address will be pulled dynamically from the email input field. For the attachment section, we can select the print process we have just created. Now all that is left to do is assigning this email event into the action button on the Get Report page and publish the application. Applying a background image and custom styling through CSS templates can enhance the look and feel of the web tool. Now our users can interact with this tool to calculate their savings should they switch to LED lighting. On the final page, we can capture the emails of the users that are interested in a more detailed report. The automated email contains the report with the user's data populated in the document.